what's up, internet? I just came back from the movie theaters and I saw Black Panther and I have lots to talk about it. This is my review. So my first thoughts right after the movie is that, wow, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was very well made. The cast it was one of the best things. The costumes, makeup, music, cinematography, the visual effects, everything was great. You know, I didn't think there was a lot of CGI. There was CGI, but a little bit less in comparison to all Marvel's films. I thought the pacing of the film, it was also a little bit slower. And I, that's also something that I really, really like. So let, let's, let's start with the casting. Chadwick plays Panther and I thought he was great. He did awesome on, on the on the role. I, I gotta tell you, a lot of things from this movie exceeded my, my expectations. I was very excited to watch this film. It's the first film with a black hero, really awesome hero with really cool, awesome powers. You know, his powers come from a plant. Then he drinks the plant and then he, he gets the powers from the, the Panther. Um, and we, there's not many black heroes out there. We've seen Blade before, but Blade is more like the anti-hero than the hero. And then there's Black Panther. So yeah, big crowd was at the theater. People were really excited about it and applauding and everything. So it, it, the general reaction at the theater was positive, just like mine. Keep going on the cast. Then we have Daniel from Get Out. We have also Michael B. Jordan that plays a villain. I thought he did really well. He He's not only hot, but he was really very interesting villain type of guy. I, I, I really enjoyed his character, you know. Forrest Whitaker, if I'm not pronouncing, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correct. He plays sort of like a, a priest um, in the in the movie and I thought his role was pretty cool. And then we have the amazing women, you know. Lupita, she was awesome, you know, she's beautiful. She was great in her role. She plays uh, the love interest of Panther. And I and she's also a warrior. She's feisty. She she has her own mind. I thought she was very strong women in this in this film. I was I, I really enjoyed it. And I think Disney could take a tip from this film because they were trying to do some women empowerment the last Jedi that in my opinion did not work so Disney this is how you do it and then we have Michonne from The Walking Dead I had to call her Michonne the night was really good in this film you know she came in she kicks butt you know, with her spear and ah oh, she's just she's just so good uh, we have Panther's Mother by played by Angela Bassett you know the whole ensemble it was incredible and the movie works a lot because of this strong amazing cast the other thing i thought about the the women war warrior it reminded me of that character zula from conan the destroyer it's a really old film from 1984 i i love old films i don't know but it resembled the character zula a lot for me uh, there's a lot of like the the African feel of the culture is all over. It was just beautiful, you know, and the whole um, costume, the music, the 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 makeup, the accent of the actors. I think they it came out pretty well. The movie has a very futuristic, Afrofuturistic feel, you know. Panther's sister. She's super cool and she comes up with all this technology. You know, she's kind of the brains of the gang, I'd say like that. She's also can fight and she's feisty. And another thing that I really loved about this film is that the jokes were on point. Um, and I think they were not as the other Marvel, Marvel films. They had so much joke and it's pretty much all the time. This one, it's not that much. But it's on point when it comes and I, I just I really enjoyed the, the the humor in this film. I think it was pretty cool. The lighting was a little bit dark at sometimes. I couldn't really see, especially like night scenes. Oh I think the first scene that was very dark was the one in the woods at the beginning. Uh it was a little bit like they could have lit it a little bit better. I couldn't really see very well, but um it was probably the the director's choice. Now let's talk a little bit about the the villain. The thing that I thought it was very interesting about this villain is that not only he's hot, <laughs> uh, 
but it's not that like i uh, what i really liked is that you can actually sympathize with him the way that the story is written you completely understand his reasons you know why he's doing what he's doing it completely makes sense and then towards the end um you kind of feel bad for him you know this is a spoiler, so go watch the film before you, you hear what I'm saying here, because I don't want to spoil anything, no one to be mad at me. But, so yeah, so he, the, he dies at the end, you know, Panther kills him at the end, and I, I totally felt bad for him, you know. Usually you tend not to feel bad for villains, but I really feel, felt bad for him. Because I thought he had real motives to hate the people there, you know, to to want to kill the panther and take over the throne. I thought that it made sense. And I love the whole thing that the panther keeps saying that he's our own doing, you know. So he's a mistake that we have to fix because it was his father's mistake that didn't take him and didn't take care of him and basically abandoned him after he killed his his brother. So, yeah, there's a little twist over there that I kind of see it coming towards the end. But I don't mind. I just thought the film was very exciting, very fun to watch. Oh, and then towards the end, there's after credits. Sit down and stick around. Don't leave the theater. Watch until the end. Yes, that's it. Uh, that's my review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye.